Welcome to Life in Biology. I'm Dr. Joel Graff. This is episode number 14, and today we're going to be talking about OSMK. And these are the Yamanaka factors for induced pluripotent stem cells, or for short, iPS cells. Uh, in the next immunology discussion, we're going to talk about hematopoietic stem cells, which are an adult stem cell. So I thought I'd first take a step back and talk about embryonic stem cells. So embryonic stem cells, abbreviated just ESC, kind of a big deal. So one thing that they can do is they can self-renew and make more embryonic stem cells. The other thing they can do is called differentiation. And so when a different, a cell, uh, embryonic stem cell differentiates, it can become uh, ectoderm, endoderm, or mesoderm, which are different, um, different types of tissue found in, uh, during embryogenesis. And um, I won't get into embryogenesis too much because I really don't know too much about it, but ectoderm can be made into brain, made into your brain or, or skin. Endoderm can be differentiated to form your di different internal organs, liver, spleen, heart, gut tissue, all those things. Um, mesoderm, uh, muscle, bone, and blood. So you can see a skin and brain are kind of on the very outer edge of you. Muscle, bone, and blood take it a step inside and then endoderm goes to your internal organism. So it's kind of three layers of you, three different uh, partially differentiated tissues in, in these embryo uh, tissues. So what this is called when you can have a cell that has the ability or the potential to turn into these three different sorts of embryonic tissues is called pluripotency. And pluripotency just means can turn into any cell you want. Um, if you start off with a fertilized um, egg, which I've, I've shown here as a nice circle, so here's your, your egg, it'll divide into two cells. And those two cells will divide into four cells. And then this goes on for a while, and then you end up with something called a blastocyst. And in a blastocyst, these cells that I have in green are, are cells that are um, capable of, uh, are, these are cells that are embryonic stem cells. So those green cells in there. So before it starts looking like a person or anything like that, this mass of cells, uh, intercellular, uh, internal cellular mass, is uh, a bunch of cells that have the ability to turn into anything. So. We're going to talk about reprogramming. So differentiation is when you take a cell that has the ability to turn into different t sorts of cells and turn them into different sorts of cells. So there's a, a differentiation process or a maturation that goes on as you go from embryo, uh, pluripotent to final differentiated state. Now what they were looking into in the paper I'm going to talk about today that uh, Yamanaka was the senior author on was different ways of de-differentiating. So you take this differentiated cell and go back to something that has pluripotent potential. Um, so how to reprogram? Well, the very first sentence in the paper talks about two ways you can do that. One, you can take a, a, nu a cell nucleus from a differentiated cell and put it into an oocyst, and that will change the, uh, the DNA qualities of this nucleus so that it's kind of like an embryonic stem cell. You could also fuse a differentiated cell with an embryonic stem cell. So there's different ways of putting cells together and, and, and making them fuse into one cell. And if you do that, then your differentiated cell nucleus that has all these patterns, uh, uh, epigenetic marks and all these things going on, it will get de-differentiated back to having the ability to turn into anything. So um, those are the two that they mentioned in the first sentence of this Yamanaka paper. Um, but what they come up with in this Yamanaka paper is OSMK, where each of these is a, a letter for a certain factor that allows a differentiated cell to go back to an embryonic stem cell. And they call that an induced pluripotent stem cell. So how they did the screen was pretty interesting. They took uh, uh, differentiated cells and they had retrovirus vectors which are 
each in express one type of gene. And they had 24 of these different retrovirus vectors. And what they did is they would take uh, the, the differentiated cells and transfect them with all 24 in the, uh, of these factors and they are able to get um, induced pluripotent stem cells. So then they, they did 24 different experiments where, or 23, I don't know, where each time you just take out one of the factors. So you, you um, start off with A, B, C, D, E, F, G all the way to whatever 24 is. I guess that would be X. Um, and you just take out A and have B through X, what happens. Anyway, then you'd screen them and see if, if you have cells that are capable of self-renewing and um, also of turning on a gene called FBX12, um, which is a, a gene that's only expressed in embryonic stem cells. So that's their first screen and they found that 14 of these different original 24 factors or genes that they're introducing were unnecessary. So they got down to 10. And so then they did the same thing, 10 minus 1, so they had factors A through J, for example, and they'd take out A and have only B through J going in. And then they screen. And then from that second screen, they are able to find six that weren't uh, necessary for getting an induced pluripotent stem cell. So they are down to four. And when they did the four minus one screen, they were unable to get uh, embryonic stem cells from any combination of three out of those four factors. Um, so once they had it down to their final four, they did m more screening in this paper. So I say OSMK, what's that mean? Um, OSMK stands for OCT34, SOX2, CMYK, and KLF. Um, these are four different transcription factors, and one of these, in particular, CMYK, is a uh, oncogene. So overexpressing that caused some concerns. So that's why I have yikes there. Um, but these are the four genes that they came out with. So you could take a differentiated skin cell, throw these four genes into that cell, and the cell would dedifferentiate back all the way to having pluripotency, the ability to turn into any type of cell. So that's what the um, Induced pluripotent stem cells are all about. I'll have a link to the original paper in, in the bottom. Um, and we'll talk about uh, adult stem cells next. Thanks.